Hi on YouTube, it's Mary here. Um, what I want to show you today is a cardboard belt that I've made. I got hold of one of these Edelred, that's how you pronounce it, an Edelred. Yeah, I think it's from there, it's the same material as their climbing harnesses. Yeah, but they sell the belts, I got this one on YouTube, solid metal link there, so it should be really quite sturdy. Um, so I was thinking about carrying paracord with me. Uh, I managed to get hold of uh, some real paracord from Green and Bushcraft. I was debating on the colours. So I got blue. I really like the gecko green, which was really nice, but it's maybe just a wee bit too vivid for the outside of a belt. Also got hold of some forest green. Where is it here? Also got hold of some forest green. So I'm hoping to do another belt for my sister as a surprise for her Christmas. So there's the belt. And I'll show you how I, I go about making the, the belt with the paracord. I think it's roughly about 20 feet of both colours. Um, maybe 25. So I put the blue, as I said, put the blue on the outside. I put on one of these wee Melon clips here. I think it's Melon, if you, that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, again, this is climbing grade strength. Not that I'd ever need it. I usually just go low level walks, trails and things like that. But you never know when it might come handy for pulling something. So that's how it looks. Let's it fasten it up first. So again, with the paracord, you can push it closer together. If you're a bit thinner, pull it further apart if you want to show more of the, the paracord. It is quite thick, the belt's slightly less than an inch. By the time you put the paracord on, it is about an inch. So if your trouser belt loops are a bit thin, um, it's maybe just too much. But again, you can put this over the top of your, your trousers, your, your normal belt. That's what I've used mine for. I put my uh, Jack Lower knife on it and my John Welling's Laplander sheath with my Laplander in it on the other side. Um, so I'll show you how to go about making one of these if you're interested. Right, so this is the, the blank belt. I'm going to put forest green on the outside. Linda really likes green. And I'll have, again, the same, the gecko over the top. Not quite so bright when you're wearing it. So what I did, well, you burn the ends, of course, you know, it's just the paracord. I took quite a bit of length at the end. Just put a wee overhand knot in it. I like to keep a wee bit free, just so at the end you can sort of tidy it up. Um, just did a wee knot and then looped it back through. So decide which way you want, which side you want is your main colour. Uh, I want the green. So I put it in this side. Put the knot underneath. It doesn't matter where you put it because you can you can roll about and just move it about. So, so I'm doing just exaggerated movements, so I did. A loop there. I'd probably be better putting this into a wee ball or whatever, but this will show you anyway. Then I put the power cord through here. Once you get two or three done, it's a lot easier. Just tidy that up there. Bring it down. Then you put the green underneath, round the back of the forest green one. Pull that down nice and tight there. You can see that. Just keep using your fingers. Then the green back through here. Just so it's making the, the loop there. Then I take another loop of the green. So I'm doing it a bit more exaggerated just so you see it. So it's there with the twist. There. Take the green, pull it through. Just tidy that up. Nice 
some tape. Again, back through. Wind up. Probably an easier way to do this, but it works for me, so I'll just stick at it. Again, big loop of the green. Bring the gecko up under. Back through it. Just keep tidying it up as you go to get quite neat. Get the paracord face in the same way. Looks like there. Up under again. through. So I'll do a few more uh, and then I'll stop the video and I'll show you a wee bit more done. Mm. I'll come back to you then. So I've done a few more strands on it. You can get the gist of it. Um, just keep working away at it. As I said, once you get near the end, you can push all the strands a bit tighter. But you can see how this one's going to look. Green, just tidy up all the strands, get them sitting nice and flat. Green twist on that side. Or, yeah, I think it's going to look really quite attractive, so I'm going to give her that for her Christmas. She's got a John Wellings Laplander sheath uh, for her Laplander, and she, she never usually wears a belt, so this will be ideal. She can just take this out when we're going out with her hammock camping. The one thing I like, really like about the way this is actually put on, if you do need paracord in a hurry, um, you don't want it to sit and start unraveling the whole thing. So once these ends are tied off, you know, the paracord will be sitting on the belt just like this. You just need to grab the end and then just slide the whole thing. It'll come away really easy. Slide the whole thing off. And you've got your lines of paracord. I mean, if you need paracord quickly, you know, if you have an emergency or whatever, you don't want to be sitting unwrapping, unwrapping. So just slide it straight off the belt. As I said, you'll get 25 feet roughly of each colour. Tie that together, you get 50 feet. And this is genuine paracord, so I think it's got 550 uh, pound breaking strain. So pretty much you can use this for anything. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, if you could like, and if you want to subscribe, I'm hoping to put some more videos up, videos up soon. Um, I'm really pleased with the way mine turned out. I think it's really nice. Again, you can just customise it to your own colours. Um, as I said, I got this from Green and Bushcraft. Yeah, they've got some really nice ones. They've actually got a, a new fire, uh, fire cord, paracord, I think it's called. I've got the tongue twister there. But um, the centre core of the paracord is actually can be burnt, it's used for tinder, it'll start your fire. It's a wee bit dearer, but maybe worth having some, you know, in your belt if you want to. They've also got fluorescent colours, which would be great if you were uh, putting your, your knife on this belt and taking it off. You're going to see it in the dark with your torch. Um, so, catch you in the next one. Bye.